everyone. I know it's been a while since we've uh, done a video and put it out there for you. Um, before we get started though, I just wanna have a little disclaimer right up front because I know some of you might not be very happy that we are not social distancing, Claudia and I. But after doing this for weeks on end and um, coming off of the death of my stepdad on the 29th of February and um, just not getting to be with friends and family and um, and tomorrow celebrating what would have been my son's 37th birthday, um, I decided that I needed some friendship. <laughs> I needed some here in my kitchen <laughs> and I need to do what I love and that is cook. So I hope it doesn't upset any of you. Um, I hope you uh, realize that um, sometimes we need to do things for our mental health, just like we need to do for our physical health. And for me right now, I need this for my mental health. My physical health is fine. <laughs> I just need some mental um, health time. So Claudia was good enough to say, hey, I'm in. And so here we are. So today we're gonna be cooking a wonderful salmon dish for you. Um, but before we do that, ooh, I wanna tell you about this pasta. So in talking with my friend in New York the other day, she was telling me about this pasta she found in her pantry that she had no idea what it was. Um, except that she knew it was called olive leaf pasta. And so I said, well, that sounds interesting. I think I want to try that. And so I found it online at a gourmet food store and I ordered it. I even rush shipped it here so we could do it for this weekend <laughs> uh, because I was so excited about it. And it, if, I don't know if you can see it really in here or not, but these, all these little pastas um, are hand cut and they're in the shape of an olive leaf. And what we're doing today is a Parmesan crusted uh, salmon with um, white Dijon mustard or white Dijon wine sauce over yeah. it, <laughs> served on top of the olive leaf pasta. We are also, um, I, I made a homemade Italian salad dressing to go with tonight's meal. I'm not gonna share how I put that together, but I will put the recipe online and you can make that yourself. And for dessert, I decided that I wanted to try my hand at making some panna cotta. So I did that already this morning. And again, I'll put that recipe on um, and we'll even photograph it and let you see what it looks like. So we're gonna get started on making our sauce right now because the sauce can sit while we're getting the salmon ready. We can already have our sauce cooked up. We're gonna put a paper towel on the top of the pot so that it won't um, get any excess moisture and uh, then we'll, we'll um, start on the salmon. So let's start on the sauce real fast. Okay, so we're gonna start on our sauce and uh, we've added two tablespoons of unsalted butter into the pot and Claudia is going to do the whisking. If, I am. As I add in uh, the flour, okay? So we've, um, added in two table we're adding in two tablespoons of flour and while we're doing while whisking it all <laughs> at, i had to think of the word all at the same time see our, our um, videographers are social distancing right now unlike us and so we have to do this all on our own again so you guys are stuck with us okay so we're going to do that for just a couple of minutes scraping all the sides and whatever, all the way around the pot, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna add in our milk, and we have a cup of milk going in, and we're gonna continue whisking while I slowly, very slowly, pour in the milk. All right, I wish you could see, she's doing a good job. <laughs> This girl can whisk. I can whisk. I can okay. whisk with the best of them. Yes, she can. Now we're going to add our um, cream. We have just a fourth of a cup of heavy cream. We're getting all those lumps out of there. Yeah. <laughs> this is the hard part, right? We're add in our cream. This is to make our white wine sauce for our mm. salmon. And to that, we're going to add in our pepper. Okay, and there we go. And uh, that pepper is just a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. I didn't add a lot of pepper in there. We're gonna whisk that until it gets smooth. And when we have it smooth, from there we're gonna add in our wine. And 
we have a fourth of a cup of wine and for this I'm using white wine I'm using a Chardonnay use something like a Chardonnay or a, or a Pinot Gris or something light um, because you don't want the wine taste overpowering your fish and and your in your sauce and Okay. Is that gonna okay? It's all we're smooth. Good. We're gonna add in the wine and keep a whisking. Okay, and if you could see it, you'd see it starting to get kind of um, starting to thicken up. Starting to thicken up. We're gonna add in our Dijon mustard, and um, we have two teaspoons of Dijon mustard that's going in there. Ooh. We have some that doesn't doesn't want to go. Okay, and then we. Um, crushed up just a half of a chicken bouillon cube and just kind of crush that up a little bit and we're going to add that in there get that all going it's really getting nice and nice, nice and, and thick. thick now and the last thing we have to put in is our Worcestershire sauce we have a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce going in there it's nice and oh it's beautiful mm -hmm. <laughs> it smells so good so now we're just going to let this we have it all mixed up we're going to cook it over a medium low heat and we're just going to continue to cook it um, until it gets to the desired thickness i like mine to be just a little bit thicker so we're going to let it cook for a little bit we're going to turn the heat down actually we have it about right so um, we have it on medium low we're just going to let it simmer a little bit watching mm -hmm. it making sure it doesn't burn or anything. And while we're doing that, we're gonna to begin to prepare our salmon Ooh. and our pasta. Love it. All right. So this is our sauce, it's finished, it's nice and thick. It's just done to the thickness that we want it for, for our salmon and our pasta. Doesn't that look good? We actually um, taste a little bit of it and it's, uh, I will tell you, it's pretty darn good. It's mm -hmm. making me hungry there hungrier than I already was. So now we're gonna move over and start doing our salmon while our pasta water is boiling and we'll um, be right back. Okay, we're gonna get started on our salmon. As you can see, uh, we got some beautiful pieces of salmon here. I actually bought five pieces for today um, and I think they are beautiful and they smell wonderful and I can't wait to dig into all this. Yes. So to our salmon, so with the salmon you want like four to six pieces i got five they were butcher had already cut them like this so it was perfect so in our bowl that we have here we're going to put uh, our panko crumbs okay. one third cup of panko crumbs okay we are going to um, put in our cheeses our parm and Okay. okay, and then we're going to put in our garlic. So we have uh, two cloves of garlic. And if you take your knife and smash your garlic first before you start to chop it up, it actually releases more of the flavor of the garlic. So you want to try to smash it first and then, and then dice it up. Okay, then we're going to add our salt and pepper. So about a half of a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of ground pepper mm -hmm. so we're just going to kind of eyeball the pepper here a little bit okay excellent okay. now we are going to add in um, our herbs okay so we have a teaspoon each of parsley thyme and chives we're just going to add those in. We're going to mix that up. Gotta get all the goodness out. No, oh, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to pour in our uh, butter. We have four tablespoons of unsalted butter that's going in there, and with our cheeses and our herbs, and we're going to mix those around and mix kind of make um almost like a paste. I was gonna say it's like a paste. Yeah, yeah. it's like a paste. Yeah. Cool. Round and round. It's like the wheels on the bus. The <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I, I don't envy all those moms that have to be home right now, um, homeschooling their little ones when they're not used to it. Nope. I know um, that's what my daughter's doing, and I, I, you know, I sometimes feel really bad for her that uh, she has to stay home with those little voices all day, right? So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It makes you really appreciate teachers even more. It does. It does. I asked my one grandson the other day if she was the best teacher he'd ever had. And um, before he could answer, she put her hand over his mouth. And <laughs> <laughs> he kind of rolled his eyes at me. We were on Zoom. He kind of rolled his eyes at me. I'm like, mm, I'm thinking maybe um, she wasn't the very best. <laughs> all right. This okay. Looks really good. So we have that all mixed up. Now we're going to spread that herb butter mixture on the top of our salmon okay and we're gonna lightly press it in so that it crusts it really well all right okay? all right let's start that take my ring off to do that because I don't want it all over I'm gonna leave it up here and see if I can reach to do this we're gonna put this on oh man this smells so heavenly I cannot wait to try this. Mm. Get a lot of that on there. We have enough so we can cover it really well on top. Can you imagine once we get this on here and then we get the wine sauce on top of this and it's sitting on top of our pasta? Oh, I, can't, I can't wait. I can't wait either. I I've been re and I really love salmon <laughs> and I'm afraid to buy it. And cook it because I don't want to ruin it and now I'll have a recipe that I will feel comfortable with. I don't like salmon uh, you know um, and you want to do like a you know a crusted fish you can always use tilapia or haddock or you know because some people don't particularly like salmon I mm -hmm. can't understand that but my husband would be one of those he doesn't like fish Unless I make fish tacos, for some reason he really likes those. Ooh, fish tacos are good. Which we might have to do soon. Yes. With my mango pineapple salsa that I make. Ooh, that sounds really good. And you know, mango goes really good with fish. Yes, yes it does. Okay, I'm going to try to see any places that we need to get. We have plenty, so do we see any empty spots? Mm, maybe right here in front. Okay. I think that might be, we might might have gotten them pretty well covered there. All mm. right, look at that. See a little nakedness right there. Mm. No nakedness. <laughs> no, this is the best part, right? <laughs> and then we're just dressing the fish. Yes, dressing the fish. And then after we've done this, we're going to put this in the oven at 400 degrees. And we're going to cook it for about 15 minutes or until it's brown and flaky. And then I like to pop, pop mine into the broiler after mm. um, for just maybe a minute or two. Give it a little more crunch on the little top. A little more crunch on the top, mm. absolutely. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to clean off my hands now. And we're going to put this in the oven and we'll be right back. Finished off plating our meal. There's our beautiful salad that we'll be having tonight with the homemade salad dressing. Tonight um, we're drinking a Chardonnay from your Baron. That's actually the wine that I used in the sauce. And here we have our beautiful salmon, Parmesan crusted salmon with the white wine Dijon cream sauce, which I, we have extra cream sauce that we'll serve with it. Isn't that beautiful? Sitting on top of our olive leaf pasta, which I actually, we toss with a little bit of olive oil and um, some roasted bread tomatoes. Some bread. What's an Italian meal without bread, right? It's like a day without sunshine. We hope you've enjoyed this. And we are trying to um, do more of these hopefully soon. And uh, we just want to say thank you for letting us into your homes. Um, social distancing has been very tough, um, especially given the circumstances that I have dealt with for the past few months. And then the fact that my son's birthday is coming up tomorrow. So being able to do this has been great. 
you guys have a good evening and we will hopefully see you again real soon. Bye-bye.